drizzle throughout the day, but we do have this line of thunderstorms actually redeveloping. It's quite blustery outside with our snow squalls coming through Center County right now. Will they continue on throughout the evening and impact your plans tomorrow? I'll have more with my seven day forecast at 11. But our next three days, relatively uh, odd in terms of weather, severe thunderstorms, then going back towards winter, even though tomorrow is the first day of meteorological spring. Yellow boxes are severe thunderstorm watch boxes, so be prepared. You could actually see some uh, small hail, maybe locally. Good evening, I'm student meteorologist Marissa Lautenbacher here with your Campus Weather Service forecast. Let's look at this time lapse for today. Absolutely gorgeous skies throughout the day and I really hope you enjoyed it because those uh, clouds are going to start to move in for this evening. It's a live look over here at Beaver Stadium preparing for our blue and white game on Saturday. I'll have more information in my seven day forecast. Good evening Penn State. Here are actually some of your nor'easter snow totals. Our largest amounts of snow actually was in Mount Pocono 24 inches up there in the mountains. At Harrisburg International Airport, they actually reported 17. It could be give or take a few inches locally in some areas. I know Enola got 18 inches of snow. By 8 a.m., those showers will actually change over to thunderstorms as we'll skyrocket with our temperatures. Those winds will actually be ushering in these snow showers that will be impacting Penn State, possibly impacting some travel. Don't expect much of an accumulation though. This is a very weak clipper system that will be starting to move uh, more towards our west as the day progresses on. Our high temperatures today actually quite warm again as we were not as warm as we were yesterday though. 63 degrees here in State College. We reached up to 74 degrees for our high temperature, an all time record breaking February. So Mike, we did have some very interesting weather on Wednesday evening. It's exciting to see even those double rainbows along with the thunderstorms. Yeah. Maybe more of an off and on rain. So definitely have your, your umbrella, your rain jacket for the entire day. Good morning, Central Pennsylvania. I'm student meteorologist Marissa Lautenbacher. Here's looking at our morning lows are actually a little bit warmer, not much. It's still only 20 degrees for our morning lows uh, in Harrisburg. That's compared to the north. Looking up here at Bradford, Du Bois, 9 degrees. This is before sunrise. Actually, a nice view from Millersburg. That snow is actually keeping it a little bit colder. This, this is our snow from yesterday blanketing the area. Actually won't be much warmer throughout the day, 29 degrees for in the afternoon. We could expect a high around 30, but it'll feel much colder with those blustery winds throughout the day. Coming from the northwest, you can actually see the wind trailing in here, keeping the, our Arctic air mass in place, making it much colder. You can actually see this low pressure system here. That'll be tra uh, moving from the south and tracking up towards tracking up the east coast, giving us the potential for snow uh, on Tuesday. So you can actually see some of this energy uh, moving from the south. This is our European model. It's our best model for uh, tracking long range snow. So here on Tuesday, uh, late on, tu I'm sorry, late on Monday night into Tuesday morning, this snow will actually track its way up the east coast. And throughout Tuesday, we actually could get snowfall rates from one to two inches per hour. Significant amount of snow and it'll linger on through Wednesday. So our best chance, eight plus inches more towards the west. We could actually expect a little bit more snow since it is over um, on the east coast in York, Lancaster, Reading. That is your best chance of around a foot of snow. Here's what to expect though timing wise. So Monday night our steady snow showers will start to develop at one to two inches per hour and that'll continue on, continue on through Tuesday morning, giving us that heavier amounts, uh, heavier amounts of snow. So take the proper precautions on Tuesday and they'll start to taper off except for the wind. That wind could actually reduce visibility um, significantly. So be careful, especially while driving on Tuesday. Temperatures though, not staying we don't expect to warm up for the uh, short term because Monday, even on into uh, Tuesday, we're staying around 35 degrees. That wind, uh, even continuing on into Wednesday, will make it feel much colder. 
Good morning, I'm student meteorologist Marissa Lautenbacher. Here's what to expect this morning through 11 o'clock. We can actually see our rain from this morning changing over to wet snow. It's very slow to stick, more of a slushy coating on the roadway on the roadways though. Two inches are possible on the grass. Since it's a very wet snow, it won't uh, stick as much. It will be uh, windy though. We could have a couple of snow squalls uh, throughout the uh, afternoon hours after our heavier bands of snow start to leave tonight, leaving us with windy and cold conditions. Wind chills could possibly be in the single digits. Here, uh, here is our heavier uh, burst of snow in the white uh, Allentown through Reading, as well as through the southern portion of York, actually experiencing uh, most of that heavier snow. Looking at our Lebanon Valley College camera, a lot of that wet snow is actually sticking to the camera. I can actually see uh, uh, much of it is actually sticking to the grass instead of the sidewalks and even roadways. Uh, that's what's been happening uh, throughout the area. You can actually see our temperatures 33 hovering just above and right around freezing for our temperatures, which has been make, making that snow to more of a, a wet slushy snow instead of actually sticking to the roadways. Our winds making it feel much colder coming from the northwest at 13 miles per hour here in Harrisburg, York 18 miles per hour, actually making it feel much colder. As this front starts to push southward, that uh, had our milder air from yesterday, making it feel 64 degrees yesterday we had here in Harrisburg, replacing it with this cold, windy Arctic air mass followed right behind it. And so as our heavier bands of snow start to dip south, we actually have a couple of little bursts of snow uh, moving throughout the area for this afternoon. After 5 p.m., around 8 p.m., most of those little bursts of snow should be out of our area. Saturday, leaving us with windier, chillier conditions uh, than today. Those winds will stick around even throughout Sunday. Here's our three day forecast. Saturday, our coldest day, blustery and cold. Wind chills are possibly in the teens from those winds coming from the northwest. Sunday, partly cloudy as well, staying chilly. This is our second round of winter. Tuesday, though, so the snow and the wind will uh, actually continue. We'll have a nor'easter coming up to the uh, up the coast. N uh, no snow totals yet, but it will be a plowable snow. Stay tuned for more updates with ABC 27.